Alright, one, two, three. Alright, welcome back to my next trading week journey. And thank you for wasting your time in this video with me because you can be doing so many other things such as watching stupid cat videos and dogs and etc on the internet but you choose to watch this video my trading forex forex trading journey and believe it or not this is my first profitable trading week again 50 percent on my account now this wasn't real money i'll tell you straight away this wasn't real money this was demo demo account the reason being um because I was sick and tired of just losing money every single week. Well, in in the end, for the last few weeks, it was every month or every every three three to four weeks, and I was just sick and tired. So I decided, um, even that I'm so against it, to do demo account because even that it doesn't feel the same way as real account. It still gives you the feeling of when to enter and you see the charts and everything else as real money uh, a lot of people say that you can't trade with demo account or to learn with demo account because you just don't have the same urge you don't have the same urgency to close position or open position whatever it might be and uh, it's same for me uh, when i when i opened the demo account the first uh, day i was like whatever and but then the second day the more I look at the charts, the more I'm entering positions. I just, I just told my mind that this is like a real money, and uh, I was successful. Of course, when I am I have a real money, then there is a, there is no money to be made. When when I make a demo account, then <laughs> I'm profitable. It's the law of a Murphy. Um, so I'm just gonna show you here what the trades I took and what I'm learning, what's the lessons and maybe in future in a few years time or a few months time when I look back on this video I'm gonna be laughing because I was profitable in demo account and then in the future time I'm making thousands of dollars hopefully and this will be history and this is gonna be good memory for me and for you to look backwards on this video and be like all right this guy is not lying. He actually did demo account. He actually been profitable on demo account first before he started real account. So this is my chart. I haven't, I haven't drawn anything, but basically what I do is very, very fucking complicated. Look at this. I draw this, which is called what it's called support. <laughs> and uh, that's about it. I draw the support and then uh, I enter position here before I'm going to show you here. Let's see. Actually, no, let's let's go on first this one. I'm going to show you. This is, by the way, what I'm doing here is a uh, what is it called? Uh, Discord. So you this is my trading journal. So what you can do if you want to uh, have a trading journal as well, which probably you should and have a look at the end of the week and see what's working, what's not. Um, I used to do it with Excel Excel sheets and I just find it so complicated for me, for myself, who just so fast, fast, fast and can't focus on these little, little icons. I was just finding it annoying. So I opened Discord channel for myself, private. And uh, what I do, I just take a screenshot or I copy the link from this one. I just copy the link and I, and I paste it here and I say, what's the position? And a little, little note to it, and then I take up also screenshot after I close the position, either loss or win, whatever it might be. So look at this one. So Euro Euro UAD. I enter here. This was clear for H for our support. And this one was as well. GPP USD for H support. Uh Euro GPY is this yes. Euro GPY, so this is this, this is this, um, what is it called? Entry, so I enter right here. And I used to do really big, what is it called? Uh, invalidations. What I realized this week, actually, what I realized is, and I was backtesting this as well, is make a smaller, smaller invalidation, 
meaning smaller TP because I trade only one to one risk ratio. That's the best that you don't have to worry about making one to fucking 20 and then <laughs> worry about if it's gonna work out or not. One to one, small trade, in and out, goodbye. Next trade. Just to make them smaller, you can see these ones are pretty big and it, this wasn't really successful. Um, you can see this one, where is this? GPP, USD, yeah, this one, enter here. And the invalidation, invalidation is really big. And I had to close it here. I uh, closed it like about halfway. So not a full profit. Uh, again, Euro JPY as well, I had to close it. Uh, Euro, UAD, Euro AUD, I closed it as well early, a little bit because big invalidation, GPP and ZD, uh, same thing, big invalidation. You can see it's just, it's just too much. I, I could be just probably somewhere here, to be honest. Uh, but um, because anyway, if if my stop loss, oh, if my position not working out is going against me, I choose to close it early anyway, just by intuition and looking at the charts. So I finally getting gist of it, what, I should keep open when I should close. Um, and this one, GPP cat, this was the uptrend, but it failed to actually break up and then just keep falling down. So I closed it. UUSD, uh, I put a sell this zone in so thin. I don't know, it's still it's like going to break support and go to the next one. Yeah, so I entered this one. This was a four hour chart. And then because it got to the support, can't really see this because it's not prolonged but this is quite big support it bounced once and it came came back and then wanted to bounce but it's keep coming down it's kind of i don't know it's also downtrend i don't know it's kind of seems to me that it's gonna break down and it did break down actually um afterwards gpp usd same thing here and uh, no, actually, no, Euro USD actually didn't break down. Oh, I closed this one early because I realized, closed it here, I realized I have really big fucking validation on all my position. I don't think it is necessary. You should have small invalidation and that way make that profit full, meaning make it faster. Don't wait, because this is like freaking, I don't know how many pips is this actually on, on this stop loss, but it's ridiculous. So I enter actually EURUSD, I enter the same trade, but with just GPP because usually it's correlated and it, it was correlated. And as you can see, I entered it here with better position. So I enter right at the peak, which was great. It was a great entry for me. And I make the invalidation smaller. Uh, was it much? Yeah, much smaller. It, even that it looks big, but the zone is actually small. So the invalidation will was maybe like 30 pips or 35 pips, something like that. And in a, in a hit both trades. Uh, the reason why there is a two trades is because once I enter the position and I see that the price action going in the favor of, of me, then when I see it keeps going down, I enter other position to double my profits or nearly double this, this way I double my profits. And if I if I'm losing, of course, I'm not going to be adding another position. But if I'm losing, I will probably close it somewhere here because they will already break above of these highs. And I would not believe that will go um, in my favor anymore. But if it's winning and it breaks the previous lows, this is one hour chart. So you can't really see on the 15 minute chart. Then I just add another position and it worked out. And and I entered back here. So I shorted GPP USD here and I enter here long, but I don't think this actually work out. Yeah, this I uh, entered way too small <laughs> invalidation. And you can see it just nearly hit my stop loss. But I entered with small amount, I believe. Uh, I think I entered with small amount as well. Um, and then so from this one, it didn't, it didn't work out. So I enter, I flip the switch again for short. And you can see here, let's see over here. So I shorted from this area to here. Then I wanted to long 
but it didn't work out. So it went down. So I flipped the switch again, <laughs> for sure. Make big invalidation because this is the previous highs, just in case. And on these previous lows, there was nothing. If this is if this is gonna break the support, there was nothing really stopping the price action. So I make bigger invalidation. And I think in this workout, let me see GPP USD. Uh, where is the GPP USD? GPP cat. Oh, it's not here. Oh, it is. What? I think it did work out, but I didn't put it here. I believe it did work out because, oh uh, yeah, yeah, I just didn't put it here. Anyway, GPP and Z, this can go pull back a little. Uh, this trade worked out. That was nice. I added another second position to this one. That was nice trades. I realized really when I make the invalidation, invalidation smaller and I trade only four hour charts or daily and make the better entry on a one hour chart, then it's just working out. So hopefully it will work the way it's supposed to go and we're going to get somewhere. GPP AUD, same thing here. This was, uh, this was four hour support and uh, it was just break and retest and that worked out. I didn't even add another position because um, it went too fast and I didn't want to enter just in case it's going to stop me on and have a worse uh, entry. Um, and you can see I'm, I can go on and on. I don't know how many trades is it's just so many. We'll, this video will go, so, we'll go forever and you don't have that much time. I don't have much time, but I'm going to show you here my terminal. You can see my history. And even this is a demo, you know, I just have to imagine this is real money and it will be real money soon. I want to be profitable on demo account for another three weeks. If I'm profitable on a demo account for another three weeks, then after three weeks in October, I will switch back to real money and just keep doing what's working. And uh, hopefully I can double my accounts in two weeks every time. Sometimes maybe it's going to take three weeks, but if I could make a half of my account in one week, then I can see, I don't see any reason why I should not make other half next week if I keep doing what I'm doing. So we'll see, but you can see these trades uh, here. You can, you can pause it if you want, uh, but you can see I didn't really take big hits. If I take a loss, if I'm, if I win, right? So let's say this one, this one was, uh, where is it? GPP USD, it's the same trade, but I win to, on the same trade, like quite big. Like this is a bit bigger, this is a bit bigger hit, but usually the hits are not, not that big. And if I win, I win bigger than I lose which kind of makes sense if you want to be profitable. So this video wasn't any structures. Uh, it wasn't anything I was planning. I just sit down on Saturday morning and I realized I probably should just make a video and um, show you guys how the trading journey is going because, you know, once this channel is going to get potentially really big or I'm going to get really good at training and actually make some real profits, then you'll be able to look back and be like, okay, this guy actually not lying. This guy actually is legit. And he's not just one of those online freaking gurus who just trying to sell you courses or paid um, group subscriptions and etc. And I'm not selling you anything on this channel, except my course for Kindle publishing. If you like to publish books on Amazon, I make some passive income, which by the way, that's what I'm living from right now. So if you're interested, you can definitely have a look on that. But considering that you click on this video because of Forex trading title, you're interested in trading. So thank you so much for wasting your time with me and um, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.